Hello, and welcome to Hadassah On Call, New Frontiers in Medicine. I'm your host, Mayan Hoffman. So with me today, I have a very special woman, doctor, and medical professional, Professor Polina Stepensky, head of the Department of Bone Marrow Transplant and Cancer Immunotherapy. Welcome, Professor Stepensky. Now, you were a guest on our podcast in 2020. And on that episode, you mentioned new technology that would allow you to create genetically modified T-cells that are personalized to attack cancer for individual patients. So it seems fitting that we start by discussing how you've adapted CAR T-cell therapy to international success. Thank you for this question because it is the main field of my expertise right now. This is the main work that I am doing on a daily basis. So the idea of CAR T-cells was born in Israel at the end of 80s by Professor Zeli Geshar and Professor Gross. And what does it mean, CAR T? Chimeric antigen receptor. And the name exactly is speaking about the nature of the cells. So what we are doing? We are taking the cells from the patient and we are taking his T-cells, his, the cells of his immune system. And we are performing the genetic engineering of these cells. So we are inserting inside the virus, inactive, not dangerous virus, which carries on, on the virus the part of genetic information which encoding the protein against the oncogen, against the protein which expressed on the cancer cells. So a few years ago it was like a science fiction, but now it is our reality. In a few years ago, even some kind of CAR T cells were included in our health basket. So it's approved by FDA, it's approved in Europe, and it, it is also the part of our health basket. And we were able to give these cells to our patients who are suffering from lymphoma or acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And what we, what we are doing in this case, and it's commercial, the cost is very high, but, you know, it's paid by our health insurance. So what we are doing in this case, we are collecting cells from the patient and we are sending, we are sending these cells to the some factory in Europe or States and they are performing themselves this genetic engineering. It, it, it can take like uh, one month, three weeks, and finally the patients will receive the cells and these cells are supposed to kill the cancer cells. So the cost, you know, only to understand the cost, uh, the cost in Israel is like close to one, 1 million shekels. Wow. So in in US and Europe is 350, 340,000 euro dollars, respectively. But uh, so it is very it is very expensive. And what I thought a few years ago, that it's impossible that we are a startup nation and we don't have any other, uh, any our own blue and white CAR T cells. So it's impossible. For us, it was clear that the CAR T therapy for lymphoma and acute lymphoblastic leukemia is already in our health basket. So it's not our focus. We have to be focused on another disease. So we decided to focus on another disease, multiple myeloma, which is very common hematological malignancy. It's close to 1% of all cancer diseases and 10% of all hematological diseases. And uh, unfortunately, it's incurable disease. So when I graduated medical school here at, at Adassa in 98, the median survival of these patients uh, was two years. Now, uh, due to all this fantastic development of different cells and different approaches, the uh, median survival is 10 years. That's incredible. It's incredible. I completely agree with you. But finally, all our patients experienced relapse. And in this case, we need some treatment to give them. So it is a cause why we decided to focus on this unmet need and develop our own blue and white CAR T cells for multiple myeloma. And you're using the CAR T cells for multiple myeloma at the 10-year mark when they start to relapse? Is that when they get treated with it? Exactly. We are using these cells only for patients who experienced relapse or who are refractory for any previous therapy. And we have these patients, unfortunately. Now, I understand that at, that not only are we using it here, but in fact, it has now been being used in the U.S. or it's being tested in the U.S. Tell me what's going on with that. You know, in, when we are producing CAR T, we have to put inside some construct. And this construct is unique in every case. Okay, In our case, we have patent for our own construct. So, so what we are doing, it's not done in any place around the world. 
very similar constructs are using in U.S. And they, they started a long time before us. And they did many clinical trials in different places. And now they have even approval of FDA for some kind of CAR-T for multiple myeloma. But first of all, it's very expensive. Second, even if it's approved by FDA, they don't have enough slots for patients. So they don't have enough places where they are able to provide these cells. So according to literature and to last manuscripts, in U.S., if somebody from relapsed or refractory myeloma patients need CAR-T, only 20% of them are able to receive. And it's not a situation in Israel now. How many uh, percentage in Israel can receive? Everybody? Almost, yes. All, all our patients who are eligible according to inclusion criteria of our trial, they are able to receive the therapy. It's covered through the health fund? Absolutely. 100%. You know, treatment is not covered by health fund because it is clinical trial, but it all the patients it's absolutely for patients is absolutely free of charge. So the costs of clinical trial co- were covered till now only by a donation of Adassa. Okay, it all money came from Adassa women. Amazing. It's amazing. So I want to thank because only with this kind of help we were, we were able to develop this, this therapy and to give it to our patients. Only now our Ministry of Health started to support us and they started to give some money, but we treated already more than 70 patients with multiple myeloma, Israeli patients. And now there is a clinical trial going on in California as well. Exactly. So a few months ago, uh, one Californian-based uh, high-technology company, biotechnology company, bought our license for patent, and they are going to start with clinical trial in U.S. And the final goal of this company is to receive FDA approval for, for commercial product. Of your product. Of our product. Of, of our product, of course. Tell me, do you have a memorable patient, you know, somebody that you can think about that's been treated with this uh, therapy success story? Absolutely. You know, in the beginning, you know, when you are starting with something, you don't believe that it... I believe that it will be successful, but, you know, you have to get this experience and to understand who are, when it will work and we... And it was a huge surprise for us because we started with patients which were very, very bad. One of our patients, he came to us, he was the first patient who received this target dosage, 800 million, because it it was phase phase one in the beginning. So we started with low dose and we gradually increased the dose. It's the usual, you know, usual construction of clinical trial. So the first patient who received 800 million was a very nice person, and we knew him for many years. He was treated for myeloma at Adassa. He's from Rishon Lezion, from the center of Israel, and he uh, is a retired policeman. As we have this expression in Israel, like salt of the country. And he came to us after many lines of therapy, and practically he was sent already to palliative care. And we gave him CAR T, and it was amazing. So he sta- he developed re- full remission, and he is still now in the remission. How many years is that? It's already. It was in October 2021, and he was expected. He was in palliative care. You said so he was expected to die and alive today. Yes, definitely. It's not only he's not only alive. He has very good good quality of life. What in my eyes even maybe more important than only life. Because he's traveling and he is going to all events and he's very active. So he has practically a normal life without any therapy. So they don't need any therapy after CAR T. After they finish the treatment. 